What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, Reddit True Tide. So I've actually been blasted for being very critical of Ozempic. Look, man, there's black box warnings. There's a lot of things I need people to look at. But also, I feel with fat loss before taking something like a GLP-1 that you should exhaust all other options, meaning you should try different kinds of diets. Well, first of all, try dieting, try training. And before you take a GLP-1, here's a big thing. You need to make sure you're, re you're eating the correct foods, getting adequate protein, and also doing resistance training. What happens is people go on Ozempic, they lose their appetite, they are not getting enough protein, they're not getting enough nutrients, they become nutrient deficient, they become protein deficient, and without having the resistance training in the caloric deficit, they're losing all their muscle. With that being said, after Ozempic, there's been a lot of interesting compounds coming out. And today we're going to talk about retitrutide. Now, retitrutide is remarkable because it works on other pathways other than the GLP-1. But the problem is you can't get a prescription. It's not approved for any use. So compounding pharmacies can't even make it. So if you do want to use it, you have to go to the research chemical site. And that's on you if you want to trust these sites. That's up to you. All right, but I'm going to go over what retitrutide is. I'm going to go over all of the things you can do to prevent issues with retitrutide. I'm going to talk about the side effects. I'm going to talk about what bad things can happen. And again, I want to preface, I'm not a doctor. I'm an idiot. Consult with your doc before using anything, including supplements, including eating. If you're going to eat a grain of rice, talk to your doctor about it because doctors know everything. And I know nothing. So with that being said, I have notes, so forgive me for reading because I can't remember all this stuff, guys. It'd be all over the place. I can spitball, but it'd be a horrible video. So what is ratatrutide? So it's a dual agonist. This is what's really fascinating about it. It acts on the GLP-1 and the GIP receptors. And what they're researching it for, hence research chemicals, weight loss, glycemic control, improving metabolic health. It works by enhancing your insulin sensitivity, suppressing your appetite, and it improves fat loss. So I want to explore how to do this. And like I said before, I want to go over how to prevent some of the downsides to not just this, but any GLP-1, which I think it's been explored a lot. I've seen Israel tell talk about it and everything, but we'll reinforce those points here. So let's go over weight loss and obesity. So there have been clinical trials and it's been pretty impressive. Up to 12 to 17% weight reduction in participants. This study was done in 2023 and it's more impressive I didn't think the Ozepic semaglutide, I didn't think the results were that impressive. I think you can get just as much if you just clean up people's diet. But unfortunately, Ozepic has been something that people who just are lazy and won't put in the work to lose weight, they just take it. And that's why they're getting the bad effects. Where I've actually seen fit people get pretty good results on lower doses. I've seen it. A lot of competitors are losing it now. I hate to say it. A lot of competitors are using the GLP ones because dieting's hard. For me, one of the things I love about prep is dieting and the mental conditioning you need to diet through it. So it's not, I'm not a candidate for it, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, the mechanism is by activating both the GLP one and the GIPs, it improves appetite suppression, satiety, which is feeling full, satiation, fat metabolism. Another thing it does this is the two-pronged approach, is the glycemic controls. So you improve your insulin sensitivity. So for type 2 diabetics, again, not a doctor, it's reading the research, extrapolating data. If you're a diabetic, this could be a game changer because they have been, you know, they have been prescribing GLP-1s in much lower doses um, for many, many years. And this is something you kind of kill two birds, one stone. So, um, when you, when you look at things that usually improve insulin sensitivity, you also look at blood sugar regulation. So actually, they've done studies on this. There's another study done in 2023. Same, different person, different study, but again, another 2023 study. It lowers your fasting glucose levels and improves postprandial glucose control. Uh, cardiovascular health. So one thing it does is it helps reduce visceral fat. That's fat around the organs. That's the really bad fat. Subcutaneous fat is bad. But when you have fat surrounding your organs, I've told this story before on this channel. 
One of my friends is a, a general surgeon, right? He just does surgeries of many things, many things, just general. And so he was telling me that the biggest change during his career is now when he goes in and he's operating, one, to get through the sub Q, he constantly has to dry off his gloves because the fat melts around his hand. But he's telling me you have these people who have a very little subcutaneous fat and their organs are just super sized with fat. That is visceral fat. That is the thing about it. Intra-organ fat can't be good. Um, so it promotes that cardiovascular health by helping to decrease that visceral fat. So again, and you look at blood pressure lipid profile, number one is if you're losing weight, those should theoretically improve, but it has also shown potential. There's another 2023 study by a guy named Gerstein to reduce systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Systolic's on top, generally 120 is the average or the, the, what you're aiming for, and diastolic is on bottom. And that is the, um, that's usually 80. That's what they recommend you being on. Uh, I got my, I, did, I donated blood. I was 172, no, no, 172. I was 112 over 72. So I'm pretty happy with my blood pressure. And no, I'm not on Telmasart. And another thing about bodybuilders, they'll take medications for blood pressure and be like, look at my blood pressure. I'm like, you're on two different medications, Telmasartan, Olmasartan. Here's an idea. Why not just do less drugs? I don't know. So that, that's, a, that's a, a beautiful side effect. And it also improve lipid profiles. So <clears throat> another thing is muscle wasting is a big issue with GLP-1s. So retitrutide actually in clinical trials, the weight loss was primarily fat, not muscle. And that is a study, again, a 2023 study. It seems like they really started going hard on this in 2023. So again, you take away the muscle wasting problems, a lot of them, but I'm still going to recommend things to do around it. And you're in a good spot, right? So liver fat and um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So that's another thing to look at. So it might significantly reduce liver fat content. Um, this is something we talked about. We we're talking about other compounds the other day, like TMG. You don't want to have fatty liver. It's not good. So you can say that that will in turn improve your liver function, liver health. So sustainability of weight loss. So it has demonstrated potential for maintaining weight loss even after discontinuation, which we're seeing the opposite of in Ozempic. Um, this helps to avoid the, you know, well, huge rebound after losing the fat. So what are the downsides? Um, common side effects, you're slowing down digestion, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipations. Um, as you adapt, you know, like most drugs, you know, you kind of get used to it. it. It's not as bad, but you got to look at that. You are slowing digestion in some ways. And I don't see anything good about slowing digestion. You always find ways to improve digestion. But again, like when you're taking anything, you look at the risk versus reward, right? So in the clinical finding, gastrointestinal discomfort was the most commonly, um, most commonly reported side effect. Um, but the simple symptoms were generally not very bad, mild to moderate. So people were still, able, it was like, oh, I have a little tummy ache. It wasn't like, oh, my, my stomach's going to explode. So possible risk of pancreatitis and cancer. So it's been associated with a slight increased risk of pancreatitis, but the clinical trials have not shown any significant risk. So you got to keep that in mind. It doesn't appear to be a huge risk, but we have to state that um, cancer risk. So there is a black box warning on Ozempic for thyroid cancer. It is a black box warning. However, um, the findings are pretty inconclusive and we need more research, but you have to keep that in mind when taking anything. Um, the cost, even from, you know, a research chemical place, um, you know, you, if you trust one, that's great. My buddy owns peptidepro.io. Um, they have the lab results. Basically, they test every batch. That's good to go. So, I mean, the cost is there. Uh, I mean, it, it's expensive. It's not cheap. But if you're micro dosing, I can say that eh, it's somewhat affordable, but these aren't cheap. These aren't cheap. So, it's going to cost a little bit going to cost a little bit. And um, just um, on a note, I do have a coupon code with that site. Um, coupon code is Lobliner, L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R. Um, so that's peptidepro.io. Um, but again, if you have a, a 
if you're into this stuff and you like experimenting on your rat, by all means, do your thing. But again, I'm not telling you go buy research chemicals. Not approved for human use, says it right on the bottle. But that's pretty much the only place you get this stuff. Long-term data, um, we don't have any long-term data. That's another thing. We don't have it with those Epic either, other than the small doses that we're given at diabetics. So how do you stave off muscle loss? That's a good question, right? Number one is resistance training. At least two days, preferably three to four days of resistance training, pushing it where you're going about one to two reps shy of failure. That's what I'm saying. Train each muscle group hard. I mean, this isn't a training video. If you know what weight training is, is like, and if you're watching this channel, you probably do, but you got to resistance train. You have to resistance train. And I'm saying weights. I'm not saying just push ups. I'm not, I'm saying you have to lift weight. You have to actually stimulate the muscle fiber to grow. And by growing, I mean, don't shrink. So you need to constantly do that. Another is keep your protein high. One gram per pound of body weight. That's not pound of lean mass, pound of total body weight. If you weigh 300 pounds, that's 300 grams of protein. Skip from somewhere else. Make sure you get your nutrients in. If you're not getting enough nutrients from your food, you don't like veggies, whatever, make sure to supplement with it. Take a good multivitamin in the background, like an MTS Nutrition Immortal, uh, maybe some Ambrosia Nectar. You know, just make sure you're getting your micronutrients in there as well. Uh, for muscle loss, there is a product called uh, HPNPA7, which is phosphatidic acid. Um, tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A MAHA, gets 10% off. Um, it's called PA7. So it helps boost muscle protein synthesis. So you're taking in this protein, trying to stave off muscle loss, potentially even gain some muscle. This is something that can help. So there are studies on this, dramatically increased lean muscle mass and strength gains, of course, combined resistance training. Um, there was one study, participants gained 5.3 pounds of lean muscle and experienced a 200% increase in muscle mass compared to those who worked out alone. It's done in 2013 by a man named Hoffman. Um, looking at um, enhancing mTOR signaling, a critical pathway for muscle growth, 47% uh, increase in bench press strength after using PA7. That means compared to placebo. So it's not like they're benching 100, they got 147 pounds. It's like they're benching 100, the other guy was benching 100, and instead of gaining 1.1 pound on their bench press max, they gained 1.47 pounds, 101.47 or whatever. So it's, it, that's, that's, it's not, it's pretty awesome considering it's a natural supplement. Uh, participants lost 2.9 pounds of fat mass um, during this study. And, you know, that might be something to help. Another thing, Ambrosia Hydroglyph, you might want to add. Again, tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA. Has EAAs, you can sip on it throughout the day. EAAs, BCA, the EA is amino nine, which is the only, in, from what I know, it's the only studied essential amino acid, which shows promising effects, effects and prevents from muscle loss. HMB, which actually prevents catabolic processes in the body. Velocitol, again, doubling the power of your protein. So you got a really good mix there. And of course, of course, you got to have the electrolytes. The electrolytes are key to keeping you satiated, keeping you happy, keeping you healthy, keeping your heart working. And that is that. So look, man, Am I going to take Ratatrutide? No, I'm not. It's just, I'm not a candidate. I have trouble keeping weight on. It's not for me, but most people have trouble taking weight off. And a lot of people are enjoying these things. Ozempic, Ratatrutide. I know that Lyle McDonald has done a lot of work. In fact, he's one of the one who's blasted me, just blasted me for questioning the almighty godliness of Ozempic. Look, man, I'm one of those guys, like I'm not anti-drug obviously, but I'm anti do like, I'm not going to tell a teenager to just go blast steroids. That's dumb. You haven't even learned how to train and eat yet. Same with these compounds, the GLPs, the retitrutide, the Ozempic, all that stuff. I'm not saying no one should take it. What I'm saying is you should exhaust all other options. And also, before you take it, make sure you have the tangibles in place. Make sure that you know how to eat. Make sure that you know how to get a gram of protein per pound of body weight in a day. Make sure that you can adhere to a weight training program three days a week. Make sure that you go on some walks and burn some calories and get your heart health going with some cardio. That's all I'm saying. What I'm against is people who are just sitting around eating Cheetos all day, watching Pornhub and wondering why they have an orange penis. 
I'm going to say before you just go on Ozempic, put down the Cheetos, all right, grab some chicken, and try that for a little bit of time before resorting to using these drugs. However, if you choose to use these drugs, I'm not mad at you. I love, I think we're getting to a point where science, you got things like methylene blue, you got things like simple things like betaine, TMG, I just did a video on that, that can actually enhance your health, make you live longer, natokinase and blood clotting. I'm all about this stuff. These peptides are the future. BPC-157, I've seen it literally cure people. I'm not making a claim. I'm just saying what I saw. So FTC, don't come at me. I've seen people come back from torn muscles with BPC-157 and TB-500. I, look, man, I was the biggest one. Like, you don't need that. Your body knows how to heal. And then I'm watching people around me, people I know, and I'm like, oh, there's no way that should have recovered that fast. I've seen ACL people come back seven, 10 weeks early. I mean, it's, it's, it's baffling. So I'm not going to discount the magic of peptides. I'm just not. But again, if you have a doctor who can prescribe you this stuff, by all means, by all means. But here we are. Now, hopefully RFK with his Make America Healthy Again movement can you know, kind of rip the Band-Aid off and let these things become regulated compounds, compounds that we can all attain easily and legally and wherever we can get them. But at the end of the day, if you want to try these things, a lot of the time it's, it's research chemical sites. Um, some compounding pharmacies will provide a lot of these things, not all of them. I know you get TB500 and BPC157 from these places, but man, it's, uh, it is what it is. So if you, Again, it's up to you. I'm not recommending you do anything. I'm just giving you information about the compound and people keep asking about Reddit True Tide saying, well, you don't like Ozempic, which I never said. What's your opinion of Reddit True Tide? I'm like, I need to do more research and here's my research. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in the Hydroglyph or the PA7 or anything we have, Outright Bars back in stock, tigerfitness.com, tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA. M-A-H-A -A Maha gets you 10% off. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and remember, let me set it up. We got an ad on the way out. That's Are you currently taking LMNT for your electrolytes? That's great. Electrolytes are very important, especially for athletes. The problem is I think they took it a little too far. 1,000 milligrams of sodium per packet. That's great if you're an endurance athlete running in high temperatures, 100 plus. But if you're not perspiring that much, if you're not doing that much activity, if you're simply exercising, well, normally, it's a lot. You're looking at intake, you take a few packets, 10,000 milligrams of sodium a day. So what I like to do is I like to flavor all my water with electrolytes because electrolytes are vitally important and vitally important for you to intake. Now, what do I do? I take Ambrosia Hydroglyph. So Ambrosia Hydroglyph, available in stick packs as well as bags. Now, it's beyond sodium, potassium, magnesium. It has other things that'll help your body keep muscle and perform better. It has the essential amino acids. It has your branched chain amino acids. It has Velocitol, which doubles the power of those amino acids. It even has my HMB. So if you're really training hard, it staves off muscle loss. If you're looking for something well beyond the current electrolyte you're taking, something that won't overdo it, but give you everything needed to perform at your best and be as healthy as possible, Ambrosia Hydroglyph is your choice.